when I first told my mom that I actually am thinking about doing comms, right? Mm-hmm. She was actually, huh? Like a small idea. Like she think I'm gonna be like <laughs> starving artist. Like, oh, no, starving okay. artist. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, I'm Denise. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chit Chats. Hi, guys, welcome to this episode of Chit Chats. And in today's episode, we'll be talking about going on a gap year. And first of all, I will start off by defining what is a gap year, like, okay? So, a gap year is a period typically an academic year taken by a student as a break between school and university or like college education. Before we start, right, why do you guys decide to take a gap year? Because I always hear stories of like, oh, people go uni and end up never use their university yeah. degree, right? Okay. Mm. So then I was thinking, if I'm going to spend all this money doing a degree, right, mm. I should be mm. doing something that I'm interested in, that I know I can mm. do well in. Because you do better in things you enjoy. I yeah, believe right. that, I believe. If I can demo in the field first mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. doing my degree or so. I feel more set la, like for mm-hmm. after I come up my degree. I actually enlisted last year, so my gap oh, year wasn't like wow. <laughs> wasn't like intended. I just realized it really wasn't for me. I wanted to be somewhere else where like I can express creative juices. Mm-hmm. By the time I left the intake area really close. And mm-hmm. I hadn't applied for like local use. Mm-hmm. I had applied only for overseas use. I took a gap year because I didn't really know what I wanted to do after I graduated poly, like whether I wanted to work full-time, whether I wanted to go full-time uni or mm. maybe part-time, part-time uni and work. Okay, so what do you guys do during your gap year actually? I went for like spin class, I did like online classes, <laughs> I went to like help out in church, so I was doing like a lot of youth ministry right. and then yeah. I eventually went on a mission trip. When I came back, um, I went to work at Sea Aquarium. I was like a part-time tour guide there. Um, mm-hmm. Led tours for kids and taught them about the fish and the non-fish. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, cute. it was all like accumulated in like December and November. November, December, everything was like, <laughs> like packed inside. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. nice. This July, I'm going to uni. Hopefully, NTU we can be. Uh, hey. Yeah, all the best. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually on a two-year gap year. November was the A levels. Then January, I started my internship. But because I was never like trained in creative work, all this kind of stuff, right? So I think during the two years, I really got to learn a lot in my own time and then figure out really whether this is where I want to go. La. After I left TSL, I actually went to study at LaSalle, started with a diploma because it's only a five-year thing mm-hmm. if I do the accredited, if I get the accredited learning. But then end up, my parents say, hey, you don't waste time with diploma. La. Can you like faster mm. go do degree? I tried to switch to a degree program, but then that didn't work out in the end okay. because of complications like admin stuff in school. I also worked at this cafe last year. Mm-hmm. I did creative work for them. La. Then I managed their social media. So. Oh, okay. Then they pay me eight <coughs> per hour. Okay. okay. Yeah, which is a bit not low. our industry rate. <laughs> I think I got to meet a lot of people actually through okay. that. So, and I think like forming connections is something that's very mm-hmm. important in our industry. La. Yeah. But I think it was because my financial situation at home is not that great. La. So, okay. mm-hmm. in the end, because of like pressure from my parents or so, that they were saying, how come you're getting paid so little, that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Ah. Then eventually I decided like, oh, maybe okay. I should look to like right. work elsewhere instead. No? Mm-hmm. Then that was coincidentally when Brian texted me. Oh, then I came mm. back to freelance and ah. I eventually converted. For me, I was 20 when I took my gap year. So, I graduated from poly. I did a very com design based so I was doing like graphic design advertising mm. when I graduated I don't really know what to do because my sister did banking and then okay. you know like IT was on the rise and oh, all yeah, that yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. so I considered that as well I spent about a month like doing my own thing because I still had a part time job at that time when I spoke to my friend she actually convinced me that I should maybe try out applying for TSL because mm. she knew that I liked videos and hence I applied mm. and then with twists and turns, here I still am. After two years. <laughs> so I think the next question, right, is how do you tell your parents that you wanted to take a gap year? I think my parents thought it was like a good thing for me. Because before mm. this, I actually wanted to take a degree in psychology. They don't force me to do anything, la, but in terms mm. of like psychology, they're like, what are you going to do after that? Yeah, mm. so I guess they were happy about me taking some time to just really explore. I think they weren't the most happy about it because most of my friends, in fact, all of my friends, at that time from secondary school, they all went to JC. Yeah. So technically, I'm already one year behind. But then, I think they were still okay with it because it was very evident that I didn't know what I wanted to do. And oh, okay. I think they weren't keen on me like just anyhow enrolling or so. Yeah. Like, I enroll, then I do one year, then I quit, that kind of thing. Mm. Then I'll just keep going back and forth. When I did the internship, they were at least satisfied with the fact that I was still it's... at least trying out something. Yeah. When I first told my mom that I actually I'm thinking about doing comms, right? Mm-hmm. She was actually, huh? 
那个什么来的来，去第二个比来 ，starving artist， 哦 ，starving artist， she really wasn't very happy， which is also why I ended up going to like still apply for La Salle, even though right. I did internship and I much rather prefer to be like working lah. Yeah. yeah. But then because I come from A level, so it's like A level versus like diploma, diploma yeah, can go and work already. Yeah, A level definitely. is like very hard. Yeah, that's why I went to La Salle, but then in the end I dropped out. So it was kind of like she cannot help it. How did like people around you react? Like your friends, relatives. Was yeah. it positive, negative? Uh, oh, seems very negative. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Chinese New Year. Oh my yeah. god. And I like talk to my relatives. They're like, huh? Gap year. And you know like gap year always comes with this negative connotation. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. You cannot get into uni, is it? Stop wasting time, like honestly, go do something with your life. Yeah. Mm. I'll just say like I did this, I did this, they're like, oh okay, well, you did a lot of stuff. They're actually like very curious after that. Like, at your job, what do you do? Oh, okay, nice. Okay. Yeah. I have this friend, right? Um, since that time that I left, every time when we talk about like mm-hmm. our lives, she will always like subtly say things like, "Oh, um, mm. yeah, lah, like, you're different, lah. You know, we are like on different tiers." Right. Oh, God. Yeah. So like, I feel it, but I know that maybe it's not intentional because it's okay. very very subtle. So going through this gap year experience, right? What was kind of like the biggest lesson that y'all learned from it? Learn to adults, yeah. I immediately started working already. It really was a lot of like learning to like manage my own finances. I've been working, right? I save up all this money, and then I go part time uni, right? I'm paying my own uni. I don't need loan from mm. bank also. Mm. And I think yeah. I really value being able to be mm-hmm. in school now. I think like the biggest takeaway for me is that it's really okay to do a gap year. Like um mm. like ignore the stigmas. Ignore like you being behind. Cause like what one thing that really affected me was seeing all my friends like what you said like mm. going ahead with their lives mm. you know like some days during a gap year you're really just you don't know what to do like yeah. I, I was mm. very lost but then mm. looking back at it is really so important um, that I did it to grow and to explore and like have fun also lah when you do a gap year you really must plan. Like don't just jump into a gap year because like mm. we say that it's good and we say mm. that like you will grow. Really plan what you want to do so that it can you can really make the most out of your gap year. Uh, I think the biggest lesson for me was I think self growth also. Mm. Cause when I got a full time job, it was like doing things that I never really did. For example, like taking a more like management leadership kind mm. of position. I think the second biggest thing was learning how to manage my own time. It was. Trying to manage work and also doing things outside of that, making sure that my life was not just work, 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 work. Mm. Okay, so you share a bit about like what you enjoyed most about it, mm. right? So what do you dislike mm. about it? I think for me it was probably the being very worried, like unsure, oh, okay. because of my A level. Like you have diploma to fall yeah. back on that kind, then constantly stress that I need a degree, I need a degree, I need a oh. degree. Plus my parents oh, also. Okay, okay. I think the first part of the gap year when still trying to figure out like what mm. I want to do. I really really hated that part. Like I I dreaded like waking up to nothing. Okay, so moving on to the next part, right? Mm. I actually posted on like the Zula IG as well as like, my own IG right to mm. ask people like if they have any questions about taking a gap year. Ooh. The first question is how long should you take a gap year before returning to school? I feel like one or two years is like a good time. Mm. Okay. For me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to drag it out too long because I want to finish my degree also yeah. and mm. just get on with life. I think like a very practical thing to note also is like the uni cycle. Don't let your gap year eat into uni cycle. Then you end up end up having to mm. take another yeah, year yeah, just yeah, for yeah. that. The next question, right? That I, a lot of people ask is: Is it easy to bounce back into studying? I feel like it depends on the course you take as well. Cause mm. for me. Doing poly, I was very used to assignment base, and then even working itself, it's I would say it's project based mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. And then when I got back into uni, mm-hmm. which are assignment based essentially, so yeah. to get back into that didn't feel very hard. I think it was more of coming to the realization that a lot of things you have to do outside of class time, mm. so you have to read like the like just the lecture like, notes that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. For uni, I think right at the start, right they give you like all the deadlines or yeah. everything already, so. Mm-hmm. I think that really helps in terms of like planning out your time because I know nine to six I'm gonna be working. Mm. Then I have to like be setting aside time now. Yeah. So I think it's really like self discipline. Mm. Like mm-hmm. especially because I go back from work, I can be like, wow, today damn shit. Maybe I do tomorrow instead. Mm. But then mm. I think that would like make my work start piling up lah. So especially now, I take my gap year, so I really know that this is what I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. This is what I wanna do, right? When yeah. I go back to school, it's a lot easier. So because I'm much more interested in the things that uh, I learn. Yeah. Another question that. Uh, was asked is like how much importance to do, do unis give to like gap year? So for example, will your oh. application be considered different if you take a gap year? It's not like a declaration thing, okay. but like they will ask you lah. Like oh, so in okay. your past year, oh, like okay, okay. like what have you been doing? Instead, like why do you mm-hmm. not come straight to uni? That kind of thing. Mm. I think they don't really care that oh you actually went to take gap year, but they went. They are what they're thinking is did this person make good use of their time? If uh, my course like 
the application requires me to send like my resume mm. or my portfolio. Like, I would imagine that like the additional stuff that I had done would give me a like much more solid portfolio mm-hmm. compared to those who just come out from like yeah. A-level. So I think regarding applications to uni, right? Maybe if you do an internship or maybe if, honestly even if you work a part-time job, you can ask your managers, ask your supervisors for recommendation letters mm. yeah. which I think would help like substantiate your application. Mm. Someone asked, should, should, you should you prioritize travelling okay. or should you prioritize doing a part-time job? Gap year is not just like one month, two months. It's quite a significant <laughs> yeah. amount of time. Mm. I, I wouldn't say like prioritizing would be the right word but more of making sure that you do both. So maybe if you don't have enough funds, you work first, maybe a few mm, months, and yeah. then when you have the funds, you go and travel. Yeah. I think maybe if it's like you're coming um, straight out of school, then maybe take some time to travel rest. On the holiday, like you can mentally plan like, oh, I want to do this, mm. I want to do that. Or like you see things overseas that maybe it might interest you also. I had this friend actually, she uh-huh. um, she's also on a gap year. You see her Instagram, right? She's like mm. constantly traveling. Okay. Oh, but then right. you realize that actually, she's doing very very meaningful things so like recently she went like overseas to do some like underwater conservation thing I think even if like you want to travel all the way and maybe you're interested in something like photography or videography Mm. Ah. and then if you're while you're traveling you take those photos that builds your portfolio as Mm. well that's true that's true okay actually the last question is it good to take a gap year if I'm not sure of where I should be going after O levels I think you should talk to your parents yeah (laughs) Yeah. 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 have a discussion (laughs) see if like you're not comfortable sharing with your parents, I think you can still go back to your secondary school teachers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone that you're and comfortable with. schools now also have career yeah. like mm. guidance counsellors. Yeah. What my advice would be, even mm. though I never did it, right, would be that you try either JC or Poly first. So the one that you're most mm. inclined to mm. go to, right, right, you try it for maybe like one, two months. You can always drop out of mm. that and then like maybe swap to Poly if you're not sure. I have seen so many people do this change, mm. right? Mm. And there's not as much negative consequence to it. The only thing mm. would probably be if you're behind your, your friends if you took JC for one year. But at the same time, I've seen a lot of people become much happier after they mm. find something they really like. I think like one thing that I realised now mm. is really where it doesn't matter. Like people back then might have thought like, hey, I like my results not good yeah. that's why I never go to school that yeah. kind of stuff but then now it's like oh I'm only money eh mm. you know like I'm working mm. I'm where I want to be in life yeah. you can always yeah. be successful in your own route you yeah, don't have correct. to follow the mm. traditional route to yeah. be yeah. successful like. okay so with that said we come to the end of today's episode so hey. yeah so that's great and uh, today we talked about like going through a gap year like the pros and cons like their experience and you know answering some of your questions and giving um, hopefully beneficial <laughs> advice hopefully hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> yeah so if you guys want to see any more like school related topics or um, any topics that you are interested in please leave a comment down below and also don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye <laughs>